Hello, my name is Trisha and I'm here as part of the City of Lisbon and Castle Ray's Mayor's Festival at Home. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own shoebox parade. We're going to be using our imagination today to create a shoebox all inspired by adventure. You can think about all the places you'd like to go on an adventure. It can be real or imaginary. For my adventure, I've created two different floats. I've gone to a jungle for one of them and I've gone to a beach from another. Anything is possible with your imagination. We're just going to have lots of fun today and get creative. To create your shoebox float, you're going to need a shoebox. It can be any size or shape. You can even use a cereal box if you don't have a shoebox. For attaching our decoration, we're going to need sellotape or a glue stick as well, and a pencil or pen for tracing, and scissors for cutting. To decorate, you can use different papers. I'm using colored paper, sugar paper, and tissue papers for decorating. You might have some exciting bits and bobs around your house you can use also. And we're going to need some cardboard also for building our structure of our shoebox float. And for decorating, if you have any exciting bits in the school that you can use, such as diamantes or stickers, you can let your imagination go wild and decorate as much as you want. So to begin our float, we're going to first take the lid off our shoebox to create our backdrop. And we're going to use scissors to do this. You can ask a big person to help you if you need. So now we have the beginning of our float. We have our stage and we have our backdrop, but we're missing a side. So we're going to create a side to add on here. So now you have your float, you have your base and you have your back. The first thing we want to do is we're going to cover the whole thing with paper. You can decide what color you want to use. So now you have your parade float covered in your base color. We have our bottom and our backdrop. And now we're going to decorate before we put them together. So now you have some of your base done, you can start to think about what the background will be. You can place it as it is for now before you secure it. So now you have your back drawing finished. You can see what it looks like. And if you're happy with that, you begin to think what you want to add to the top. Because I'm doing under the sea, I'm going to add a bit more nautical things here. And what I'm going to do is create a little fish using the toilet roll. So now you have your finished float, 
We'd love to see your creations. Please upload them to maywe.co.uk forward slash Mayor's Festival. There's lots of prizes to be won. We have six vouchers of £100 to spend on arts material for the best creations. And they'll be judged by the Mayor on the day.